You notice no sound is coming out of the reed. That's another sign that the reed needs changing. Hi, you cool cast. Cajun here, the Sax Habit Coach, bringing you the best practice tips, tools, and ideas to help you as a beginner saxophone player develop the practice habits and routines to master your saxophone faster. Now, my purpose is to serve, motivate, and to inspire you. So if it's your first time here, consider subscribing. And remember, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video on this channel. So today we want to talk about your reads. When should you change your reads? All right, so basically, depending on the type of reeds that you purchase, they will come in different packages, right? These are Rico reeds, these are Van Doren reeds. These are size two, these are two and a half, okay? Now, when your reeds come, they will come packaged differently. Rico reeds comes in the box and they are in this plastic, while Van Doren reeds are wrapped with plastic and inside this plastic is another layer. So this is the plastic inside of the Van Doren reeds. Now, what happened is that when these reeds come in these cases, they are just to protect the reed when they are being shipped to you. They are not for storing your reeds. So once you take a reed out of its case, it's no good. Throw them away, okay? No good. What you need to get is a reed guard. Now, this reed guard is a Rico reed guard, and this one can hold up to four reeds in it and what it does it protects the tip of your reeds once you are done playing with them on a given day after you would have practiced now i will leave a link below uh, where you can uh, get your reed guard or a reed guard to purchase because these little plastic not good for storing your reeds after a while what is going to happen if you store your reeds after playing them in this little piece of plastic the tip of the reed is going to become warped, okay? And that is the first sign of your reed needing to be changed. Once your reed becomes warped at the tip, you need to change that reed. Another sign that your reed needs to be changed is that the edges become jagged. Okay, so you need to change your reeds. Now I am going to take up my saxophone and I'm going to demonstrate to you what a finished or read that needs changing sounds like so that you can have a better understanding as a beginner when you are playing your sax and you recognize these sounds that you need to change your reads all right so let's me, let me grab my saxophone okay so one of the things that you will notice when you are playing your saxophone about the reeds being finished and needs changing is that the sound will be very thin. So I want you to listen to me as I play and you're going to recognize how the sound is very thin coming out of my saxophone. Okay. Not only is the sound thin, but if you notice, it sounds rather squeaky, right? Yeah, especially when you play in the upper register of the horn. You notice no sound is coming out of the reed. That's another sign that the reed needs changing. You're playing, but you realize all of a sudden when you are playing your high notes, the air is being closed off because the tip of the reed is warped. So the air cannot pass the reed and the mouthpiece properly for it to vibrate at the speed it needs to, to create that sound. So you will notice that the sound is thin. Then you notice that the air is being choked and therefore you cannot get a good sound. And thirdly, your reed will begin to squeak, okay? So once you have encountered these problems, then it's time to change your reed. You hear that squeaking? Yeah my reed needs to change okay now i'm going to change the reed on my saxophone to a reed that is good or is better and play something and you will hear the difference between this reed and that one
So you notice I'm playing my very high notes and my reed is not squeaking, okay? Because that reed is finished and the edges are jaggedy and the edges are warped and the reed itself has become thin, it needs to go, okay? Now, there are ways that you can revive a reed, but I'm not going to talk about that today. So purchase one of these reed guards to ensure the longevity of your reeds because if you store your reeds into these, they will finish sooner than they need to because again, it's not protecting the tip of the reed, which is the most important. So check the links in the description below and go buy yourself one of these. Like these cost like five bucks, right? Only $5 and it will save your reeds over a long period of time. Now, another tip I want to share with you is that when you are working your reeds, you should work your reeds in pairs. That means that if you are practicing on a particular reed, you are breaking in the reed, don't just play on that one reed until it is finished and then you have to start with another reed. So if you notice here, I have another reed in my case here. So I always have like two reeds working at a time. You can use one reed to do your warm ups, and once that reed has been broken in and you're practicing like your songs and melodies and so on, then you continue to use that for that okay and then you take another reed and that reed you only use it for warm-up so you do it for your initial five or ten or fifteen minutes each day so by the time your first reed is about to give way you already have another reed that you can use to replace that okay because if you don't do that what you're going to find is that the reed is just going to finish and you have to start on a new reed and it's going to take a while for it to be broken in, for it to have that mellow sound, that round sound so that you can play beautifully on your horn. Now guys, I hope that you found this tip or these tips helpful. And as always guys, push, play until something happens. Peace.